don't mind it. The one thing I do like about this so far, though, which was kind of the idea, is that it it's a lot better going through and seeing how people are here. Because, <laughs> again, for anyone that's been to my first couple of tournaments, I've done the sign-ups for, like, two days in advance at least, where I had, like, a Google Sheet that you'd sign up to. And then when come, it comes to the tournament, like, so this last event, it was, it was 64 people signed up, which was great. But we were missing probably a good 20 to 25 people. So I'm kind of going down the list, and it's like people aren't showing up. And so it, it just sucked. And so kind of having to deal with that is really annoying. Whereas this ideally makes it so, especially being on the spot and the quick signups like this, it's we don't have to worry about that. We kind of just jump right into it. I'm going to be right back, as I said. I'm in the game, right? Yeah. Uh, so we'll watch, uh, we'll watch Grunt, our returning champion. Keep it on the items. I'll be right back. And uh, we'll continue. Stay tuned. We got game three. All right, as you can see, I'm back. Um, <clears throat> I got my food, so I'm going to eat some dinner real quickly while we're uh, watching this game. Uh, it shouldn't take me too long, and I'll be back. I'm going to mute myself as well, so I'm not chomping in the mic. But uh, I will do some spectating on the side, too. So Stay tuned, guys. Got some game three action.
Are you kidding me? Game crashed again. Something about the early game and clicking around. <laughs> Fuck you, game. Alright, we're almost done, so... Spear it back. Okay. I think we're good. Boom, boom. <clears throat> Might have had some barbecue ribs, so making sure the face is clean. Yeah, we're good. All right, here we go, guys. Game number three. So, been uh, peeking in and... Seeing what's going on somewhat. Got some early win streaks, of course. As we hit round eight. But I noticed this uh, uh, Amai Vapanda. He got the early Troll Warlord, and he happened to have a Mask of Madness as well. I am not surprised to see him at a 100 life still. Like, that, that's just crazy to me. <laughs> so he's working with the Troll Synergy, as well as the Knight Synergy. On top of that. Yeah, so he's, uh, he's setting himself up pretty well early on. I'm not running Warriors, but honestly, Knights to protect the Troll Warlord just fine. And man, if he if he especially can get that coordinated assault item at this uh, round 10, could be big as well. Am I muted? You lie. Test, test. I'm not muted. Stop lying. How dare you. <coughs> I was making such a good point there, too. All right, so here we go with round 10. As Omai is going to spend all his monies getting everything out. Not all his monies, but you get the point. Are we? Yeah, we got a lot of big bosses again. and uh, It's actually less big bosses than previous game. Fizz is a uh, big boss three. Impressive. Uh, Amai just lost a round, by the way. <laughs> As I'm sitting here talking about how I'm not surprised. He ends up uh, he ends up losing a round. He took six life, too. Wow. I was half paying attention, so I'm obviously not even sure how that happened. But. Alrighty, then. All oh, this energy. This is something that I, and I know many people out there, uh, need to... <coughs> get better about as far as like in between the rounds using that time wisely and then in the sense of you know this doesn't hurt your economy to just buy out like this uh, and seeing what your options are and then they're selling it you know before the next round starts ideally so we have items coming out by the way uh fizz is i believe might have just got the druid item i think yeah, they're confusing for either way 
Runt gets the fall from Grace. I think he had the Tooth and Claw before as well. I remember seeing that. Top is. Okay, well, Top is also has the Tooth and Claw, so maybe that was him. To go with that Mask of Madness. Oh my. Gets the Silver Lining. That new Silver Lining. Sean picks up the new Blink Jagger. This was one item, and I and I got to test it out in the patch before we started casting. It's it's an interesting item now. It's obviously before Blink Dagger was very situational, and like I personally could see it like going on something like a Pudge to just jump back there and distract, take a lot of damage. But it really wasn't that good. So th they certainly buffed it up though, where now it gives you 50 mana, and it puts on a 15 second cooldown on top of that, where before it was a 60 second cooldown. I think which is just stupid. So, <clears throat> you could, like, I had it on a Tiny in my first game, so the idea that Tiny would blink in the back, get 50 mana off the bat, and then quickly get his Tiny, or his Toss off, is pretty crazy. So, I actually like the new blink. Uh, he's not using it yet, is shot. Now, doesn't really have the best candidate for it, so I could see why. Uh... I think you could argue maybe Beastmaster wouldn't be a horrible option to get the Wild Axis off as soon as possible, but yeah, he's he's going to hold on to it for now. Uh, RZ, he's got the uh, Strange Bedfellows to go with the Knights global item. You do have a Forged in Battle picked up by Hashtag. He currently has a Beastmaster on the board. And they don't always get focused. Yeah, no, it's it feels like it's actually pretty good now, for sure. <laughs> it's a legitimate tier two item. And then dementia. It's been a struggle for dementia. Three loss streak, zero and six overall. Just trying to find where the game's at right now. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm curious to see when Shaw eventually uses it. We'll keep an eye on that. See how it works. Fizzes, though, sitting comfortably in first place. With has a couple of two-star druids, so one of those is already going to be a three-star. Running the assassins behind, including a two-star Quap and Morphling and Bloodseeker. Jeez. Yeah, Fizzes is just doing one of these, going with what the game's giving him strats, but it's working out very well. I mean, he has two more Quaps on top of that, so a three-star Quap is certainly around the corner. This goes back to that assassin strat that I was talking about. It's pretty meta, or meta even, where... The uh, Treant with the Lone Druid. So it has an Enchantress now. Um, that's fine. It's kind of the ghetto version, I suppose. You ideally want the Lone Druid, but this is a great comp because they buff each other, but they also give both the Savage and the Elf buff when you have the later on Assassins, the six Assassins, to run with the ideal one. So obviously that's down the line, but we'll see if that's what Fizz decides to go for in the long run or if he changes it I'll up. I'll lay their weary heads to rest. Gonna be matched up against Grunt because it's a uh, three-star Enchantress. I assume you, in this case, you want the three-star Treant, ideally, just for being a bigger tank. Not the end of the world, though, I suppose. And is gonna lose this round, though. Is gonna lose this first round against Grunt. Gets pretty dominated. Running against those knights as Enchantress, they just throw Enchantress around the sprink. So uh, suffering, <laughs> suffering 11 damage for the first loss of his. Jeez. Yeah, see where Grunt's at. Oh, he's got four Heartless. Oh, interesting. That's because he's got the Fall from Grace, huh? So he actually has two Heartless naturally, but then two more. Uh, no, he has three Heartless naturally, and then the Omni Knight completes the four. Yeah, jeez. Four Heartless, four Knights. That's That feels pretty strong. Because, again, one of Knight's weaknesses is the lack of earlier on damage, but when you have a uh, minus... 10 armor? Yeah, minus 10 armor that the enemies are all suffering. And you have a 2-star CK to go with that. It's pretty good. Going to go up against Topus this round as we have neutrals to look forward to next round. So round 15 coming up. This is the Alpha Wolves. Again, the one ideally you want to move things around for as we see Grunt doing exactly that.
So there's a lot of Knights strategy going. There's four different players going Knights this game. I feel like the first game, no one was really running Knights. It, it, it's again, it's continuing to showing of how diverse each game can be. Assassins, no one went Assassins the first game. Obviously, we had Hashtag going Assassins last game. And Alfiza's, as we've seen, is certainly committing for uh, Assassins this time around. Warriors not necessarily as potent this game. A couple of Druid buffs. That's what's really stand out, I suppose. I don't think there's anything else we're really missing. Are Scrappy Inventors just that bad? We had a player last game that, that had it into the mid game, but it did seem like it fell off pretty heavy. <clears throat> but that's that's one that we just have not seen anyone go for in all three games. Scrappy Inventor really at all. Yeah, the center, yeah, this is this is a great tab, I agree. All right, so round 15. What uh what are we getting? Mech picked up on Grunt, Fizzes picks up a Brooch, Amai picks up a Brooch. Tapis got a Mask of Madness, I think, for Luna. Maybe? Or no, maybe he just got Age of Chivalry. I think, yeah, I think he just got Age of Chivalry. Hashtag. Gets a Mask of Madness. Puts it on Juggernaut for now. Two-star Juggernaut. Interesting. RZ. Gets, uh, I'm going to go with Blade Mill. Shaw picks up the Basher for Medusa. Again, her Split Shot actually now can proc. I believe her Split Shot can actually proc the Skull Basher now. If I am read that correctly. And then, uh, I'm going to go with Brooch on Dementia. In Shaw's point of view, he's going to easily defeat Dementia there. Still just sitting with the blink. <clears throat> Several players already uh, suffering quite a bit. Yeah, ours it, man. That's <laughs> that alliance energy is not that great. Could blink lichen. Yeah. I, I think people are overlooking that. Again, the patch just came out like three hours ago, so it's understandable. But I agree. I, like, literally the fact it gets 50 mana? Pretty crazy. <laughs> pretty crazy off the bat. Um, and that's that, that feels very good for so many heroes. Watch Grunt, who's sitting in first place. And with the, uh, again, the four knights and four heartless. Almost has five heartless, or six heartless now, even. Yep, double butt chuck. Easy victory for Grunt. Grunt's economy has been suffering a little bit, so he has been diving into his economy to secure his first place spot. And keep that in mind. He is level 8, as you notice. The only one to be that at this point. Everyone else everyone else has a very healthy economy. Everyone else is basically around 50. Or plus, Amai is at 45 to start this. but That's a 3-star Tiny for Hashtag. Didn't he have a 3-star Tiny last game, too? <laughs> I think he did with the, with the Assassins that he ran. You don't know if Basher should work so well in range units. Yeah, it does feel weird. Uh, bloody, I agree. You keep getting tiny. <laughs> hey, I mean, I'm, that's not wrong. It's great, especially before round 20. Like, having a three-star on the board is, is very good. Three toss ones. There's a second toss. Like, so what was that? He just did 300 damage and a two-and-a-half-second stun twice. It's pretty good. Pretty good. 600 damage and five seconds worth of stun. Yeah, I'll take it. In an AOE. <clears throat> Pretty good. 
So you're running hunters with warriors to front zone. Pretty, pretty generic strategy here from hashtag. I, Grunt has six heartless now. Look at this. Uh, we got the cross formation. So Grunt is dishing out minus 20 armor as he picks up the DK. I think that's what gave it. Maybe it's Lycan. Either way. Has, uh, has six heartless. I'm curious to see how fast he melts things when with this now, the minus 20 armor. Yeah, it's suffering on the stars a little bit. He only has a couple two stars. Everyone else won. It's the DK up front. It's tossed away. Going up against Hashtag with that three-star tiny, but looks like the minus armor will pay off, and, well, having five knights is also pretty good. <laughs> Grunt holds his ground. Cross formation. Again, Grunt, our game two winner. He was also in the first game. He managed to stay alive uh, and play in the second game, win the second game, and now he's in the third game and currently in first place. A lot can still happen, but just saying. Well, we have our first streak. We'll see. Grunt just manages to get a two-star Omni Knight as the round starts. That's always like a, a crappy feeling. I mean, obviously it's against neutral, so it doesn't really matter, but like right as you roll to get a two-star or even a three-star or something as the round starts, and you click it and it doesn't actually upgrade them. Like, aw. Darn. <coughs> Items, what do we got? That's a, a second mech. Interesting for Grunt. Okay, he is really tanky. Jesus. Fizus picks up a, I think a brooch. I think he just got a brooch. Pretty sure. Oh, no, he got the blink. Yeah, this is somebody else. So he gets a blink. He puts it on quite. See, this is the other thing. I've also done it with assassins, too, because, again, it's the idea that you just give your assassin 50% mana. It's pretty good. Uh, oh, my, gets higher classic criminal. Shaw gets a sacred relic. Tapas, sacred relic. Hashtag, Sacred Relic. RZ gets, uh, I'm not sure which one he got, but one of those. Dementia, he gets a higher class as well. So Dementia could be knocked out. We'll take a look at him first and versus RZ, who's in seventh place. Pretty sure that was intended with the upgrade after the start. I mean, it, it, Corvus, it might have been. You're right, because it was a neutral round, so he probably was sitting on the uh, income, I'm sure. I'm not saying that he was panic rolling. I'm saying that it just happened to remind me of uh, when that does happen. But in that case, yeah, he was likely doing that on purpose. As that will be our first knockout, Dementia. Just couldn't find his footing. And it does get eliminated in last place. Yeah, 0-13, man. Was, was trying, you see the Heartless Knights, like, was trying to replicate what Grunt was doing. Speaking of Grunt, wow, he gets a second mech and he, he loses the following round. So Grunt suffers his second loss of the game. Jeez. Who did he lose to? Was that Tafizas? Again, I didn't notice. This is where a combat log would be great. Let's watch Fizas with the assassins. Hey, look at that, look at that quap. She just blinked in and she screamed because of it, but I mean, she died immediately, but still. That was a ton of damage off the bat. Like, she's still topping the charts. All the way for Tiny, the three-star Tiny. Mini Ravage, though, from Sand King. Toss in response. Sand King gonna get another stun off. He needs that stun, needs one more stun. No, the hit from Tiny's too strong. That 320 damage thwack. So, hashtag taking a 
minimal damage right there. Or not hashtag, but fizzes, excuse me. Taking minimal damage, but still, losing them around. Yeah, Quap was still second in damage, even though she died right off the bat. <laughs> Bedfellows is such a troll item. There is there's that video of uh, what's it Savages a sa sa sav Savage, how do you pronounce his name? Anyways, uh, there is a clip of him where he's like, "No, bad item," and then sure enough, literally he he gets another item as a result, and then the next screen is three anti mages that spawn. <laughs> then he could have got a two star anti mage if he picked it up, and of course he's like, "No." Assassins do their job there. <clears throat> oh no, Fesis DC'd. I'm sure he's fine. Probably just reconnecting. Yeah, Grunt is very likely going to move on to the fourth round as well. At this point, being that he has 84 alive, tied with Fuses, and the next closest is 30. Yeah, it's just a matter of first place now. Uh, yeah, again, got, reminder, guys, Saturday there will be another tournament, and this, that's a 64-player tournament. Um, it'll be uh, you know a lot more spaces to take advantage of and have fun with, so we got knocked out here, as, uh, as Alexa said. Be sure to tune in for that. That's more European friendly as well. So for those that are still up from the European crowd, shout out to you. But it starts at uh, sign up start at 9 a.m. Eastern, which is uh, 1500 at Central European time. And it starts an hour after that. So Demons of Bedfellows was your first win. Nice. Oh, wow, that DK. Is this Templar Assassin going to carry? That's the question. It's Grunt versus Fizus. Templar Assassin versus CK. That refraction is so annoying. Evasion. Evasion. Oh, we got a hit. Refraction. Oh, that evasion in between wins it for him. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that, uh, <laughs> funny enough, a good amount of the viewers are from Europe. So that's what I'll say. And hosting the tournament tonight, I, it was it's a mix of it's a it's actually a North American holiday, being Independence Day, Fourth of July. So uh, it was kind of silly to host it tonight. And then I don't think about it in hindsight, but then also the time being so late for European. So, but the, I wanted to set a trend in that, honestly, for these weekday tournaments for for the King of the Hill format, it'll likely be a bit later because. During the day, I do have obligations, and I, I'm busy during the day, unfortunately. So I can't host it earlier. But there's always a Saturday event that, uh, you know, will, will definitely be a bit earlier in the day. Because European viewers are awesome. That's always been the theme of my stream, personally, to be honest. I don't know. I, I mean... A lot of my fan base and viewership seems to come from Europe, which is it, it is interesting. But the games I focus on and play are not as popular in North America than they would be elsewhere. So that kind of makes sense too. Like Dota, Underlords, these are much bigger games in other regions for sure. This is our All right, back to the game. Uh, RZ, let's take a look at him. He's at four life. Hanging on a thread. That was an item round, by the way. We'll, we'll get caught up on that. Is RZ going to hang on? This three-star tiny. He is going to be able to kill it. Oh, the toss at the last second. So now RZ will be knocked out. Topis also gets knocked out. As well, so a double whammy that round. That's all that'll be eliminated there. 
So Shaw, Hashtag, and uh, Amai are really just trying to play for that top three at this point as, ooh, Amai gets six mages now. So taking a look at the items. <clears throat> Amai got a mag, Hashtag. He got a Radiance on that Tiny, all right. Shaw got a Daedalus on the Medusa. And, ooh, Fiza's got the Retaliate. So he has a two-star Slark, and that's it, unfortunately. He doesn't have a Slaughter or Medusa. He's got the Retaliate. And we see a Radiance on the DK for Grunt. So those are the items. All right, we're going to watch Omni, or Amai, excuse me, with the six mages now. Two-star Coddle in the back. Can he get that Coddle Blast off? Thanks to the Coddle Nerf, it's taking a while. Needs to channel it up now. Go, 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 go! Blast! Boom shakalaka! And it might not matter. Oh my god, that Pudge. That Pudge is so beefy! Live! <laughs> oh, that sucks. That's, that's exactly five damage, too. That's exact lethal. Brutal. Oh, my gets knocked out. Uh, <laughs> that three-star Pudge. Just too much. Yeah, three-star Pudge is beefy as hell. Uh, it's 5,500, I believe. Yeah, 5,500 life and five more. And it has a blade mail. No figure. Level nine's coming out. That's six hunters for shot, looks like. He just got on the board. <coughs> I Man, I, I really think putting a blink on, honestly, like Doom would be a good idea. I, I'm, I'm shocked to see him still just holding on to the blink. Right, going up against the Assassins of Fizos, who is starting to drop a bit lately. Assassins tapering off in the later game. Who would have figured? And yeah, wow, Shaw just dominates it. And wow, both Fizus and Grunt take a take a hit there. So maybe this isn't as secured for those two as we thought. But hashtag is down to two life, so he's uh, in a desperate situation now. His economy's trashed. He is level nine. He gets another hunter out there, which does give him six hunters. So running with six hunters, a uh, radiance three star tiny. I mean. Feels like he should definitely be able to fight still. Going up against Grunt's corner strat. It is not great anti-corner. It's an issue. Oh, he tossed Chaos Knight backwards. That sucks. If he tosses him into the crowd, that would be pretty good. Okay, he kills Medusa before, though. And his hunters are pretty protected, so he is going to win pretty easily in the end. All right. Who needs anti-corner? Hashtag makes it to round 30. No one else has finished yet? Okay, Shaw just took some damage. Fizos also took some damage. <coughs> I've seen people talking about adding an axe effect. That is an interesting idea. It is. And I'm sure that's one of those certainly on the list of things to do, things for, uh, for the team, but I wouldn't expect it anytime soon. I, I would... Definitely not expect an axe anytime soon because that's one of those it requires a lot of work and thinking to literally give a new ability to every single hero and try to balance around that now too and it's it would be a lot. Alright, round thirty item. <clears throat> what does hashtag need? He could use uh, something for that Medusa. Hell, he could use like a moon shard still for sniper. Uh, he gets a second sacred relic. Not ideal, but it's something. Shaw gets a, I believe, a basher he just picked up there. He's going to swap around. Fizes picks up a battle fury for the Phantom Assassin. Love this item on this hero. And then Grunt. Picks up a Daedalus for the Dragonite. And has the Radiance now on Abaddon. 
Desperate measures would be huge. <laughs> yeah, I suppose desperate measures would have been decent there for hashtag. <laughs> that would have been pretty good. We're gonna win this. Yeah, I mean, they, they rushed the game for a couple, as you say, because of the competition. There's no secret there. All right, can he withstand these assassins? Medusa, the gaze, it stones. Yes, Phantom Assassin cannot finish the job with the Battle Fury. In the back of the lone tree will get picked off. The bear being tossed around, sniped out by the assassinate, and that's a victory for hashtag. He takes it against Fezus. That was looking scary early on, as it usually does against assassins. But in fact, Fezus also takes a good chunk of damage—17 from hashtag. On his side, Grunt also takes damage. So this game is not as secured once again as we thought. <coughs> hashtag, he's trying to just stay alive another round. That's all that he would love at this point, I'm sure. He's not even thinking about first place. But, hey, <laughs> I've seen crazier things before as far as uh, having two life and coming back all the way to round 32. I fight in Selemene's name. Morris Rata Grunt once again gets a good tiny toss. Viper jumps in the back. There's a tiny toss, a pretty good one back there. Juggernaut spinning in, and it pulls his put down. Uh, Decent place, but it's not hitting a couple of the of the hunters though. Abaddon's dead. They're gonna focus fire punch. He gets taken out. Medusa up at the front lines now with the auto attacks, but the breathe fire of Dragonite will come through and finish the job on hashtag. And he gets eliminated just barely in fourth place. Shaw gets knocked down to two life as well right before that. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Wow. Right in the face with that breathe fire. If it wasn't for that, I think he wins it. But So we have our top three. It will be Shaw, Fezes, and Grunt advancing on to the next game. Uh, it's a matter of who gets first place. And Grunt right now won the previous game, so he's already got 10 bucks. He's trying to make it 20. That punch. We're watching Shaw's perspective. Against Fizos Assassins, that Pudge. He can live through a lot, but he's not going to be able to live long enough. Shaw's going to be knocked out in second. Is that a double whammy? Fizos is also knocked out. It sure is. Grunt will take first place in back-to-back -back games. Wow. I mean, last game, too, he had a dominating lead. I want to say he had around 50 or 60 life. So he's, uh, he's making some statements here in each of these games. You see the alliances at the end. Six Knights, four Heartless. So what wins it for Grunt in the end this time around? So Fiza, Shaw, and Grunt. But Grunt 